I'm not referring to either Spencer or I when I say hair today, gone tomorrow. Coming up next, a whole new way to eliminate the need for shaving, waxing, and plucking. The ultimate goal would be not to have to ever shave again. Dr. Dina Dell with the answer next. When laser hair removal came on the scene 15 years or so ago, the types of people who could be treated was fairly limited. But new techniques mean you can toss out your razor for good. ABC 7's Dr. Dina Dell explains tonight's medical journal. I had waxed and shaved and plucked. The ultimate goal would be not to have to ever shave again. I can definitely see the difference. And I don't have to get the the little razor out all the time. If you're tired of the constant hassle of shaving or maybe waxing or plucking or electrolysis, you're going to be happy to know there is something that seems to help. Hair removal has come a long way. In fact, if you're like most people, you'll be able to throw away that razor. The favorite areas for females are probably the bikini and underarms, though uh, we find that the face as well as the legs are very popular areas. Palo Alto dermatologist David Berman says a new generation of lasers is making hair removal much more effective. In fact, quite a number of our patients get 100% of their hairs removed from a number of sessions. These before and after photos show hair removal from an arm, the upper lip, and even the chin of an African-American woman. A vet is typical of the new possibilities. Early hair lasers only treated dark hair on light-skinned patients. Now they work on almost all skin colors and types, including Yvette's underarm hair. I have seen a great deal of hair reduction in that area. From someone that had to shave every other day, I now shave a probably about every six weeks. Kathy Wentz got tired of shaving small hairs on her chin and upper lip. Back for another treatment, she already sees a difference. Well, the first treatment was excellent. Within a few days, all the hairs, all the dark hairs disappeared. And that was great. And because hair grows in different phases and must be treated during the growth cycle, patients need repeat treatments several weeks apart. I was expecting it to work, and it did work. Ginger's had laser treatments on her legs, bikini line, and underarms. She's back for a quick touch-up. It's worked great. I've had about between, I'd say, 80 and 90 percent reduction. The last time I shaved my legs was two years ago. So it's been wonderful. It's been absolutely wonderful. So if you're tired of the shaving ritual, this might be worth a try. I'm Dr. Dean Adele. For a very small percentage of people, laser hair removal does not work particularly well. It can also leave fine, light color wisps behind in some patients. We have a website link to the doctor featured in our report at abc7news.com. Just click on Dr. Dina Dell.